we will start with the moving part of the background. To make the background move, we need to duplicate this object. Then change the position so that the two background objects are consecutive. The idea is, two background objects will run from right to left, combined with the loop to create a feeling of running forward for the character. Now, click here to show the patch editor panel. We will make the background move with some patches. Right click on patch editor panel, find loop animation and click add patch. We will connect it with transition patch. Then, choose the background one, click to arrow of position. If you doing right, the arrow will change to yellow color and background one position will show in patch editor. Keep the same Y and Z. And change the X start from 0 to minus 0 0.4. Click the transition patch, press Ctrl C to copy and paste it. We will have one more transition patch with the same output from loop animation patch. Then, do the same way for background too. Background 2 will move from 0 0.4 to 0. Change the duration value in loop animation patch to 4. Connect the output of each transition patch with each background. Let's see. Background 1 start moving from X position is 0 to minus 0 0.4. Its mean animation will move during 4 seconds. And background 2 moving from X position is 0 0.4 to 0 in 4 seconds. Very nice. Now we do the same for cloud. Duplicate the cloud object, then rename it to cloud 1 and cloud 2. Create the loop animation patch. Change duration value to 10, because I want the cloud moving slower. Connect with transition patch and cloud 1 position. Keep the same Y and Z. Then change the X value start from 0 to minus 0 0.4. Connect transition patch with cloud 1 position. Oh. We meet this issue because the Y position not the same, let's double check and make sure the Y position is the same value. Perfect. Duplicate the transition patch and add the cloud to position. Change the X value from 0 0.4 to 0. Then connect to cloud to position. Very nice. Now we will add the value patch to control animation player stop. Add the value patch. Change the type to boolean. Click to the value to name it as animation play. Then connect it with to enable. Now, we can control the animation with check or uncheck this value. Cool. Add one more value to reset animation. Then change to pulse. Because reset receives pulse value. So we have to change the value type to pulse. Name it animation reset. And connects to the two existing reset. Select all patches and right click, group them. I will name it background animation. Click on the bidirectional arrow to open this group. You will see all the patches you have made here. Create input to play animation and animation reset. Click back to main to see what changed. Boop. Background animation has two new inputs. It is animation play and the animation reset you created inside. Click the setting icon, then select group properties to add the name for it. You will see two inputs. 
Name the input 1 is animation play and input 2 is animation reset. When finish, you will see two name display in this group patch. It worked the same before. Collider animation. Add another one loop animation patch. Change the duration to 5 seconds. Connect with transition patch. Then add collider position. Similar to background, keep the same Y and Z. Change the X position to make collider move from 0.25 to minus 0.25. Then connect it with collider position. Perfect. Now, we will make the collider show random image. Connect looped output to random patch. Then find the collider animation sequence. Click arrow at current frame. Connect random patch output with collider current frame. Because collider animation sequence have three frames. So, we will random the value from 0 to 3. You can also add floor patch to get the integer number. Easy to see the results and debug it. The floor of a real number has the result as largest integer, but doesn't exceed that number. Take a look. The collider frame changed every time the loop ends. Cool. Now I will group all these patches. Named Collier Animation. Similarly, we also need to create two inputs. Enable and reset. I will create one more input to control the duration. Cool. Back to main. Collider animation currently has three inputs. I will also add the duration input for BG animation like this. Connect input duration with two loop animation. Let's see. The duration of the background is half that of cloud. So I will connect the duration input to the background duration. And multiply 2. Then connect to the duration of the cloud. Back to main. Change the duration. Then open the BG animation to check. OK. Correct. Character animation. Now, we will make the character jump when users blink their eyes by selecting the face tracker object. Interactions, click create, then choose blink. You will see there are four automatically generated patches to help you detect blink action. Cool. We will use the animation patch. Chan will apply for character position. Connect the progress output to transition. Let's copy the current position of character and add it like that. For this animation, we will keep the same X and Z value because your character not moving along X and Z is 6. We will change the value of Y position like this. We can change bit to make it correct.
Okay. Cool. Try to change the duration to make it run a bit faster. I will change the curve to make it jump smoother. I think it better now. But the duration's still slow. Make it a bit faster. Perfect. Set time faster. Open the folder I provide for you. You will see the two patches package. Collider logic and time faster. Drag and drop them to assets panel. Now, let's use the time faster patch by drag and drop it to patch editor. Change duration you want. Then, connect the output with two durations. Nice. Test it run by click play icon here. You can see the animation run. And wait to see it run faster. Take a look. The background cloud and the collider run faster and faster. Perfect. You can see the duration is decreasing. Means your time is getting faster.